Welcome everyone to Maputo for this, the final quarter final matchup before we shift gears to the semifinals. One match to go. It's the CNSS from the Congo Republic against the Ferro Viario Maputo, the home team in this, the 2022 FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. I'm Aaron Sanders. If you watch the matchup between Costa de Sol and ASC Ville de Dakar, you will not be disappointed in the action in this one. The winner of this will play Costa de Sol in the semifinals. As mentioned, there's the bracket. Costa de Sol waiting for the winner of this game. Inter Club will play against Sporting Alexandria in that side of the semifinals matchup. And the winner of those two semifinal games will play for the championship on Friday. The semifinals is tomorrow. Today has been all action in the quarterfinal leg of the Africa Women's Champions Cup. We'll take a look at those scores from today's game momentarily as the teams are being introduced onto the floor. Before we get things underway, we want to thank you all for tuning in and pay tribute to the great commentators who have been able to provide you Great information and terrific details of what has happened on the court at this year's Africa Women's Champions Cup. The first one in three years. There hasn't been one in the last two years due to the pandemic. There is a look at the referees. It is Aya Khaled Ahmed from Egypt, Dorothy Okach, and Emerson Mathangani. And the great commentators who were able to give you the action in this entire tournament was Ben Steiner, James Poovey, Sean Meadow, Anthony Sante, and Jacinta Govin. You will be able to hear Jacinta, Sean, and James in the semifinal action on Friday. And for the final day of action, it will be James, Anthony, and Sean taking over the reins of the play-by-play. -play. But I'm here for this game. And I hope you're able to enjoy this, and I hope you've been able to enjoy this tournament. If you want to enjoy more things FIBA-related, exclusive content, and tournaments just like these, be sure to subscribe to them on YouTube and the other social media outlets. Take a look at CNSS. Last place in Group A, well, rather fourth place in Group A. They barely got in to the quarterfinal matchup. More on that in a moment. For Maputo, their star player of the last game was Sylvia Veloso, a plus 20 efficiency, 11 points, six assists, five steals, and four rebounds. They are 3-0, first in Group B competition. Back to CNSS, where Deborah Kaba was the efficient player in the last match with plus 16. 17 points, nine rebounds, an assist, and a steal. Deborah Kama Mimoma is also the seventh best scorer in this tournament so far, averaging 16.8 points per game. And shoots 82.6% from the free throw line. And now on the screen right now, you have the starting lineups. Caitlin Jenkins, Annabella Coza, Odelia Manfanella, Chelsea Schumpert, and Stefania Shayani on the floor for Nazir Saleh's Ferro Viaro Maputa. And as the home team, they're doing exceptionally well. Won all their games so far, beat APR in their opening match by 33. Defeat ASC Ville de Dakar on the 12th by nine and defeat a sporting ASC by nine on the 13th. Starting lineups for Congo, CNSS. 
on the screen. Kita Bellu, Cecile Nioka, Marlene Gobeleza, Deborah Carba Meyimomo, who we just talked about earlier, and Grace Basiki Putu. And they will be on the court for Koku Ade. So CNSS and Ferroviaro Maputo set the tip off in just a few moments. You're watching the 2022 FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup quarterfinals for Maputo. Enjoy it, everyone. Good luck to all the teams in this match. A outra equipa já está em final e saiu da Exo. Já temos o Inter e o Sporting. Vamos ganhar a primeira final. E o Costa só aguarda pelo seu adversário que vai sair desta primeira final. There is the tip, and we're underway in the final quarterfinal matchup. And right away, great ball movement as that three dances and it goes off. That three is an air ball, and now Oh, crisp pass and a rejection. And the basket is no good. So you can see the tempo is right there, right at the opening tap. And that ball gets taken away. Ferroviaro Maputo, first place in Group B. CNSS of Congo, fourth place in Group A. As the top four teams from Group A would make the knockout rounds as the ball goes out of bounds. Ball goes out of bounds, and now we see Ferroviaro Maputo on the move. This is Chelsea Schumpert who works the ball around to Shiani. Shiani with the reverse layup that's off the mark. And here's CNSS. They turn the ball over. There was a combined total of 44 turnovers in the previous game between ASC Ville de Dakar and Costa do Sol. I don't think there's going to be as much turnovers in this game, considering what's at stake. The trip to the semifinals. Shot is off the mark, and Shayani is there to pick it up. Brings it right back up with a cross-court pass over to Kosa who can't knock down the triple. Back in the forecourt, there's Gobeleza. Set shot is good. For Cecile Nioka. The ball is thrown out of bounds and it'll go back to CNSS. see Cecilia Enriquez in for Maputo. Right down in the corner, the three is off. And Mafanella is there for the rebound. Riscosa to Schumper. Schumper from downtown. Too strong.
There's the pass. And Shumper tried to take it away. There's a foul on the play. So it's Kitia Bellu with a foul. And Maputo with the ball. They're down two to nothing. As we reach the seven minute mark in the first quarter, the drive by and the miss. As Kosa was there for the rebound, Mafanella driving right into the 10, fighting for the ball. On the rebound is by Besiki Putu. Basket is off the mark, and it will go to CNSS. They retain possession. And they throw it away, backcourt violation. Maputo has the second best field goal percentage in the tournament, shooting 44.7%. Congo coming in as the best free throw shooting team in this tournament with 68.9%. As Longomo checks in for Bellu. There's a three from Schumpert, it's good. And that gets the scoring going for Maputo. High low pass as Basiki Putu unable to control it. And here comes Maputo down again in motion. Here's Kosa trying to find somebody in the cross court. Three pointer, that doesn't go. As Henriquez comes up with a steal off of that play. Rebound by Shiani. Here's Shiani, and they give it down low to Enrique. Enrique back to Mafanella. Two passes later, the corner three is good. It's good for Kosa. Six to two, Maputo. And now here's Basiki Potu right at the top. Inside the jumpers off for Nioka. The ball's taken away. And here's Koza up and in. Spin and the shot and the foul. Drew the foul, Mafanella with the personal. And we have a timeout on the floor for the score. Ferro Viaro, Maputo 8, CNSS 2.
Estamos muito em paz. Comemos de um lado para o outro, não. Precisamos ter mais discernência, mais concentração. Ok? Vamos lá. Six-point Maputo lead with 4.26 remaining in the first quarter. Mafanella was, a, was pinned with the foul before the timeout. But CNSS will inbound it from the sidelines. This is Marlene Gobeleza. Beleza gets the ball back. Deborah Shiyoyo checks in for Grace. And Ana Bellicosa with the foul. Here's Shiyoyo, giving it back to Gokolo Langomo. Five on the shot clock, spin move by Meyimo, Una, and there is a foul on the play with 4.05 left. That will be on Cecilia Henriquez. As Enrique gets the wrist of Meyimoma. She misses the first free throw. Seventh best scorer in the tournament with 16.8 points per game. 82.6% from the line. And she misses both of them. Back comes Maputo. The three from Mafanella is off the top. She yo yo almost lost control of the ball. Here's Washimi Shiyoyo. Will that be a backward violation? It is. Eight to two ball game, 337 left in the opening quarter. Jumpert over the Shiani. And here's Mafanella trying to size down her opponent. Here's Shiani, kicks it right back out. Here's Schumper for three as the shot clock buzzer goes off. And Meyimomo comes up with the rebound, and the finish cannot be done by Washami Shiyoya. Quick conversation with the officials. And now they will go to the scores table. Let's have a look-see. It's a matter of who touched the ball last. And it looked like Shiani was the last person to touch it according to the angle of that replay. While we have this stoppage of play, just a reminder for more exclusive content and games from the from FIBA. Be sure to follow them on social media and YouTube to get the latest. So 
appears that they're trying to sort things out of the scores table. And we'll see what they decide in just a moment. Just tuning into this game, Phil Vioro Maputo leads CNSS 8-2. We had a stoppage of play. As they're still trying to rectify the situation. And I'll let you know what they decide once I receive word. Looks like they're going to go by way of the possession arrow. By that, it will be CNSS ball. 17 seconds on the shot clock. 3-12 remaining in the opening quarter. They are down six. And Gobaleza loses control and goes back to Maputo. Kelsey Schumpert, seventh best assist with three a game in the tournament. Schumpert with the feed to Enrique. Enrique fakes once, twice, and dishes it over to Maffanella, who puts it up and in. So Enrique did her job of attracting the double team, and that opened up an opportunity for Odelia Maffanella, and it's taken away. Here's Shiani, stops in her tracks. Over to Enriquez, the quarter three, short. And it dances out of bounds. 10-2 lead for Ferro Vioro Maputo. Kabamayimoma with the inbounds. Longomo and it's taken away. Here's Shumpert on the drive and the finish. So a 10 point lead for Maputo. As CNSS is set to make an adjustment at the next dead ball. Here's the three. Oh, rattles in and out for Gobaleza. And here's Shumpert again. 
through two defenders and is unable to get the roll. Rebound Shiani. She brings it right back out. Three from Kosa and no good. Rebound. Put back. No good either from Afanella. 90 seconds to go in the first. Kokolo Longomas backing down her defender. Fires away. Misses it. Mafanella with the rebound down low, some action of the paint. So that's going to be Debra Kaba Meyimoma with a foul. Caitlin Jenkins in the lineup for Henriquez. And Kitia Bellu checks back in for CNSS. Jenkins off the receiving end of the great ball movement. Here's Shiani driving. Here's Jenkins up and under, and she will go to the line. Caitlin Jenkins, a strong rebounder here in the 2022 FIBA. Africa Women's Champions Cup ranked eight with 8.7 boards per game. She misses the first free throw. Her best game was against ASC with 10 rebounds, seven points, four steals, and a block. Jenkins doesn't knock down any of the free throws. It's still 12 to two with under a minute left in the first quarter. Balu puts the step on Shiani, goes around the world. Here is Washimi Shiyoyo. There's a long two that doesn't go. Cross court pass to Shiani, rejected. It was rejected. by Malu Grace. So Rosa Koza checks in and Mafanella checks out for Maputo as we approach the final 30 seconds of the opening quarter. Here is Grace, second chance, that doesn't go. Rebound by Putu and she can't get a shot at goal. It's been trouble for CNSS as they only made one field goal out of 16. Make that one of 17 as the shot clock is turned off. We're down to six. The three drops for Koza. 15 to two as we end the first quarter. And Maputo just dominating. with eight of those points coming from Annabella Koza. The only field goal from CNSS was from Nioka, and they are down by 13 as they head into the second quarter. This is the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup quarterfinals.
15 to 2 is the score as we head into the second quarter. CNSS only had one field goal in the opening quarter. But Puto going three for 10 from two point land. And shooting a total of 27%. Winner of this game will play against Costa de Sol in the semifinal matchup tomorrow. Here's Nioka with the fake. Jenkins almost had taken away. And now they move it up the floor. Rosa Coza in the game. And here's Annabella Coza to Jenkins. Jenkins driving. Goes through traffic and goes for two. And it's taken away. Here's Veloso with the spin. Jenkins the rebound. Can't get the put back. Loose ball back to Koza, another three. Can't hit that one. And after a few pokes, it will go to CNSS. CNSS, fourth in Group A with a 1-3 and three record. And it's taken away by Annabella Coza. She runs the floor and scores two more. Annabella Coza just coming alive with 10 points. And four rebounds along with two steals. The jumper goes. And that ends a dry scoring spell as Kitia Bellu knocks the second field goal down for CNSS. Nice screen from Jenkins. Koza flings it. Jenkins saves it. Gets met by her opponent. And now Grace Basiki Putu checks in. And Rosa Cosa steps out of bounds with the CNSS ball. Here's the drive. Here's Nioko with the pull up. Cecile Nioka with another bucket off the set shot. All alone was Stefania Shiani. Here's Bellu. Laputo wanted to travel. Gobeleza driving right inside. She loses the ball off her foot. So Bellu heads to the bench. We have 7.20 to go here in the half. Stefania Shiani cutting right to the basket. Off, this, off the ball. And Caitlin Jenkins turns it over. Here's Nayoka steps in for a shot, and it doesn't go. Mayi Moma saves it before it went out of bounds. Nioka. And someone was pushed down underneath.
Caitlin Jenkins with the foul. Ball almost taken away as Gobeleza misses the tray. Here's Silvio Veloso ahead of the floor. They go. Rosa Coza was the intended receiver of that pass. However, they turn it over. Double team works out as it's taken away. Rosa Coza to Shiani, and they give it up and miss it. Yoki drive, misses. Shots haven't been kind for both of these teams. Coza comes up the rebound. Here's a step three from Shiani, misses it. Jenkins almost came up with the steal. And CNSS able to run it up the floor. And the extra pass was taken away. But it's taken back by Nioka, who will go to the line. Incidentally, Dolce Maja Aia checks in along with Anna Jaime. And Christine Mishiabu checks in for Putu. The Yoka at the line knocks down the first free throw. Her first free throw made in the tournament. She's only played one game against KPA with eight points, three assists, two steals, one rebound, and a block. She's perfect at the line. It makes it a 21-8 ball game. Belozo gets the step on Longomo. Jaime saves it. And CNSS forces Maputo out of bounds again. Koza swallowed up down to the corner. And we have an injured player down. That's not good for Maputo. So Anna Jaime is out. Annabella Coza will check back in. And hopefully, Anna Jaime is okay and is able to come back into the game later. Meanwhile, the ball is taken away from Ro by Rosa Coza, who goes over, and the shot is missed. Velosa and Jenkins. Gets the ball back right from the free throw line. Dribble drive, puts it up and in. Aiden Jenkins making her presence known in the second quarter. That shot was too hard. On the other end, here's Annabella Coza. Back to Maja Aja. And Coza with the feed again. 
Two dribbles off the rim and out. Nicolo Longomo almost stripped away by Silvia Veloso. Gobeleza driving to the rack. And she will hit a couple of free throws. Well, go for a couple of free throws, rather. Marlene Gobeleza. Second highest scorer in the tournament with 19 points per game. She knocks down her first and second point of this match. There's a 13 point lead for Ferro Villaro Maputo as we're more than halfway into the second quarter. Outside, here's Koza. In and out. Saved by Velozo. Koza again. This time she hits. So, second chance. Opportunity for Maputo as they lead 26 to 10. Here's Kokolo Longomo passing the timeline. Veloso almost had a piece of it. Here's Nioka in deep, in trouble, and gets it taken away. Timeout on the floor with a score Maputo 26, CNSS 10. Eleven till halftime. Maputo with a 16-point lead over CNSS, who have had difficulty shooting. As they're shooting 12%, that's three of 25 from the field. Maputo shooting 32% as they get a five-second violation. Drive in the buckets, no good for Tanya Kokolo Longomo. Dribble drive from Majaeja. There's the three. It's no good for Rosa Koza. Rosa Koza gets the ball back, streaking through and getting it in. Rosa Koza with three points to her name. Two thirty to go. Cecile Nioka flustered and finding Christine Bombao Mishabu. Well, 
Belozo driving in from the right. And now there's Jenkins, kicks it right back out. Maja Aja for three, and she puts it there. It's always risky when you see those overhead cross court passes. However, when Maja Aja is there at the corner, you could rely on her to knock down those threes. And it's intercepted by Annabella Coza. Here's Veloso over to Maja Asia again from downtown. Back to back corner threes for Dolce Maja Asia. CNS that's feeling the pressure as it's taken away by Rosa Coza, who puts it in. An 8-0 scoring run for Maputo as they lead 36-12 as we approach the final minute of the first half. Jenkins almost took it away, but kickball was called. There's Talita Matabi Kimbimbi checking in for the first time today. Pagul Langoma looking for the screen. She got the screen. The shot is good for Matabi Kimbimbi right off the bench. It makes it a 36 to 14 game. Here's Veloso with velocity. It stopped in her tracks. Here's Annabella Coza. Jenkins with the in and out dribble, the spin, but misses the finger roll. Nonetheless, she's going to head to the line. Right now, Jenkins has five rebounds, four points, and two assists to her name. She adds on to it with that made free throw. And Jenkins scores them both. Now to 10 seconds in the first half of this quarterfinal matchup. CNSS heading into the locker room with a big deficit. Here's Gobaleza, one on the clock, fires it at will and hits it off the back iron and out. Time runs out here in the first half as Ferroviaro Maputo leads CNSS 38 to 14, the leading scorer for this half, Annabella Coza, 4 of 10 from the field goal range, 10 points overall, at four rebounds and three steals. Leading score for CNSS, Cecile Nioka with six points and three rebounds. 38 14 is your score at halftime. We will take a break, show you some highlights from the first half and we will return for the third quarter in about 15 minutes. I'm Aaron Sanders. This is the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup quarterfinal.
Aaron Sanders with you as we welcome you back to Maputo for the 2022 FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup quarterfinal between Maputo and CNSS. Third quarter about to get started, and Maputo has led for, well, pretty much since the opening tip. They have a 38-14 lead. The winner of this will play against Costa de Sol in semifinal tomorrow. And Maputo starts with the ball. The basket goes as Ornelia Mulhaway starts the scoring. And those were Moe's first two points of the tournament. As Bellu is able to rush it up the floor, goes for the jumper, can't knock it down. Caitlin Jenkins was there for the rebound. And there's the steal, the putback is off. Now Jenkins come up with a rebound. Two rebounds on that trip down. Here's Mulway, and she knocks it down. Back-to-back -back buckets to begin the second half. So prior to this game, she didn't score at all. She has made four points in the early goings of this third quarter. The ball's taken away. Here's Sylvia Veloso. And Sheanu, they kick it right back out. Here's Velozo with three. No. The drive. Here's Gobeleza for three. And Gobeleza knocks down the first three for CNSS. After going 0 for 5 from downtown, Caitlin Jenkins on the other end gets the deuce. 44-17, Mabuto, eight minutes to go here in the third. The spin, the shot, and the miss. Loose ball on the floor recovered by CNSS. Count the basket for Marlene Gobeleza as she heads to the line. The foul was on Caitlin Jenkins. Gobeleza with seven points. She has eight points. As CNSS now has 20 points. Shiani on the drive. Kicks it right out to Velozo. Velozo driving. Jenkins with the finish. Local Angoma with the ball. And she gets it right back. She's at the wing. Jenkins almost took it away. Maziki Putu unable to put it in. Another offensive rebound for CNSS. Down the nine on the shot clock. The three doesn't fall. And Maputo with the ball. Here's Veloso trying to drive, almost got it taken away. Jenkins holds on to the ball near the timeline. Tried to give it to Veloso. Now she'll take matters in her own hands. Kicks it right back out. Shinani for three off the top. Malu Arayu. Arebu Grace checks back into the game. Defense, 
It's also good to see Anna Jaime back into the lineup for Maputo as she had to leave the game during the second quarter due to an apparent injury, but she was able to make her way back. Veloso brings the ball up court. And Veloso going coast to coast and puts it in. The entire 90 feet of the floor was all Sylvia Veloso. Here's Kabimbi. No. Put back. Will they count for Kabami Yoma? We will see. The basket counts as Mayimoma gets the friendly roll and makes it 48 23 Maputo. Loso lost, almost lost control of it. Here's Shiani on the kick out. And Jaime couldn't control it. Now it was Moe who turned the ball over. The leaning three doesn't hit. However, Kaba Meyimoma is at the free throw line. And a plethora of substitutions made at this stage of the game. Chelsea Shumpers back in with Cecilia Enriquez and Ordelia Mafanella and Annabella Coza and Dolce Machaia. So Maputo changing their entire lineup as Shumper comes up with the board. Machaia with the finish. Machaia made back-to-back -back threes in the early stages of this game and got her scoring run underway. It's now 48-23. Here's Gobeleza. On the dribble, the jumper is short. And Gobeleza is there to put it back in. Here's Shumpert. Enrique's with the save. And from downtown was Majaeja again with Annabella Coza on the assist. Picked off by Mafanella. Jumpert, nice screen from Enriquez. Here's Coza again. Maputo on fire from downtown. It's 56 to 26. Here's a pass to Gobeleza. It's taken away by Shumpert. Here's Shumpert. Oh, no looker inside. What a beautiful move. And the finish. It doesn't get any prettier than that. As Majaeja still applying damage. She has 13 points along with Annabella Coza in the backcourt. No triple there for CNSS. 
The saucer pass, another three. It goes. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Dolce Maja Aja on fuego. And a timeout called by CNSS. Maputo on fire. And it's going to take more than a fire extinguisher to douse out the scoring run that they're on now. The defending champions lead CNSS 61 to 26. After a flurry of threes from Majaevga, who has 16 points in the game's leading score, still perfect from three point land. CNSS trying to find a way to cut the void down. The jumper doesn't hit. The rebounds all around. CNSS still have the ball. Five on the shot clock, taken away by Schumpert. Schumpert with another baseball pass. Here's Mafanella. And a jump ball on the play. The reigning defending champions making work here today as they appear to be on the right path to move on to the semifinals. Oh, what a dribble drive from Bellu. She pulls up and hits it. That was a beautiful move from Keitia Bellu. Remaining, Chelsea Schumper goes behind the back on, on Bellu. That's an offensive foul on Schumper. Minute 25. No looker to Gobeleza. No good. Here's Balu again. Off the key and out. The putback is good for Shune Soaka. So Soaka at the line. Where she shoots 75%. Completes the three point play, 61 31. Here's Schumper. Ahead to Maja Aja, who has the hot hand today. Bellu with the finish. Forty-seven seconds to go in the third quarter. A 28-point lead for the defending champions. Chelsea Schumper gets the step and gets knocked down.
So Alcoza will put the ball in play. It's back to Shumpert off the triple threat. The screen from Enrique. It was close to being a moving screen. Enrique into Mafanella. And that's a foul. Mafanella knocks down the first free throw. Our fourth point of the game. And gets them both down. Twenty-three seconds to go. Full court pressure applied. It's taken away here. Shumpert all alone for two. So Shumpert picks up her seventh point in the match as we approach ten seconds. Down to three. Bellu short. Appears that will wrap up the third quarter. Ten more minutes of action to go as Maputo leads CNSS 65 to 33. This is the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup quarterfinal. Underway here in the fourth quarter as Maputo has a lead over CNSS by the score of 65 to 33. Ball's taken away by Suaka. Fast passing results in a turnover. Benezita Uchave is in the game now for the first time. Here's Koso from downtown. You could put it there. The three-point rage continues for Maputo. And now Nioka outside. Gobalezo tried to go for a three of her own. That doesn't go. Here's Majaia. With the hot hand, can she make it again? Oh, put her there! Oh, Tolce Machaeja! Forget about the fire extinguisher. 
forget about anything else. Do you think she has a dry, cold spell? No. So you're telling me she's on fire from three-point land? You bet. It is 71-33. to 33. A trip to the semifinals on the line as the defending champions are trying to go there in less than nine minutes. That shot doesn't go. Then there's a rebound. Here's Muchave. Cornelia Mulway was nowhere near the ball off of that pass. As Muchave perhaps a little too excited on that. Marlene Gobaleza has a seat. As Bellu has the ball, the pass around Nioka down deep. They cut inside. The jumper is off. The rebound by Mulway. Mulway stops in her tracks. Seven on the shot clock. Here's Muchave for three. It barely grazes the glass. Balu with no stop in her, regardless of the outcome. The layup is good for Deborah Kaba Megi Moma. Maja Aja wanted to set the screen. Muchave hits the deck. Six on the shot clock. Here's Koza for three. Off the mark. The step, the dribble, the shot, the miss. Last touch by Rosa Koza. It stays with CNSS as they get a break with 7.03 left in regulation. Dolce Majaeja with 21 points and a steal. And if this isn't the best performance from three-point land of the tournament, I don't know what is. Five of five, three for three, a total of eight for eight from the range. 21 points in almost 14 minutes of action. We have a timeout on the floor. Seventy-one to thirty-five is the score with over seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. Maputo looking forward to the semifinal matchup against Costa do Sol tomorrow. But they have seven more minutes in this game before that happens. CNSS back on the run. The finger roll is no good for Nioka. Mulway had to fight her way for that rebound, but she got it anyway. And that's tough for Benazia Muchave as she was unable to control. Actually, that was Anna Jaime, my mistake. Kedia Bellu with the ball. Bellu with 6.38 to go on the clock. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, what a spin move, but Kaba Meiji Moma is unable to finish. Shot is off, rattles out of bounds. Ball 
back in the play. Here is Muchave. With seven on the shot clock. Jukes kicks it out to Mulway for three. That is off the front. They get a second chance. Is Majaeja. Who else? Eight of eight from the field. Basket's no good for Rosa Cosa. Under six minutes now. Bellu with the crossover and the kick out. It's off the mark. No good for Kaba Meyimoma, but this time they were able to put it down. As it's 71 37. Down to nine on the shot clock. They kick it outside. Colza for three. Who will stay with Maputo? Five eighteen left in regulation. Mulway up and in off the inbounds pass. 36 point lead. Deep to Kaba Meioma for two. We approach the halfway mark in the fourth quarter. Muchave with the tough shot. Can't get that to fall. She's still fighting for the ball. She almost got it, but it rolls right out of bounds. Six left. Let's take one more look at the play. Now Caitlin Jenkins checks back in. Uchave with the bullet pass. Fadeaway is short. Masiki Putu with the rebound. Balu down on the far side over to Longomo. Longomo dishes it inside to Meiji Moma, and that is short. 4-10 to go. Why not? Another three. That is off the mark. Jaime in trouble. It is called for traveling. And that last possession marked the first time Dolce Majaeja missed a field goal. She's now eight of nine, but still a remarkable 21 points. She made all of her field goals prior to that last shot. That tough shot doesn't fall as Jenkins wheelbarrows it over. Shot from the elbow is no good. Bellu, Nioka. Bellu, can't knock that one down. And Uchave, late on the block. And she gets the foul. That means free throws are coming up for CNSS. As Deborah Kaba Mayimona checks out. She ends up with a double double, 12 boards, 10 points, a dime, two steals, and a block. Very efficient game. 
were the seventh best scorer in the tournament. Free throw does not hit. It is 73-39. As we wrap up quarterfinal action here, as the feed to Machave does not go in. Should things hold up, the defending champions will play against Costa do Sol in the semifinals. On the other end of the bracket, Sporting ASC will play Interclue for a chance to go to the championship round. Jenkins just right there. She thought she blocked it, but they called a foul on her. The first free throw is no good for Basiki Putu. Basiki Putu looking for a first point of the game and still can't get it. But however, she's been effective on the glass. 12 point, uh, 12 boards for her with two assists. Jenkins with the nice feed. To Mulway. Mulway goes to the floor. been a rough scoring performance for CNSS. There was a time where they only shot 6% from the field as that bucket goes, but they were able to improve and not by much shooting 25% from the field. Maputo is shooting almost 43% for the field. And in tournament play, they would average almost 45%. So they're near their average. Jaime to Ajayeja, and she misses again. She'll have another crack at it. That doesn't go. So 8 of 11 is Mahayeja. After starting out 8 for 8. And most of them have come from three-point land. And Muriel via Shiyoyo is able to get two points down. It is a 30-point game with a minute and 30 left. Jenkins with the screen. They kick it out. They keep it inside. Mulway's shot is a no-go. CNSS will play in the consolation game over the next few days. Maputo will have their vision set towards Costa do Sol in the semifinal matchup tomorrow. Volways has her shot denied. Second chance, no good for Jenkins. Cecile Nayoka just swatting it out of the air. You're down to the final minute of this quarterfinal matchup. Jaime drives and draws the foul. And Jaime could look for her first points of the ball game. 
She has yet to score, yet to shoot. And she has a rebound to her name. Remember, was out for a, for a lengthy amount of time due to an injury in the second quarter as she gets her first point blocked. Two points, and why not? Gets them on the scoreboard. There are four players that have scored more than 10 points for Maputo. Mahaeba leads it all with 21. Annabella Koza with 13. Rosa Koza with 10. And Caitlin Jenkins with 10 as well. Four seconds on the shot clock as Bellu can't knock that one down. And it will stay with CNSX. Seconds away until this is over as Mulway gets the steal, but hits it too strong off the glass. Bellu running the offense for most of the game. She has six points, six rebounds, two assists, and two steals. Jenkins is able to take it up. There's 10.1 seconds left in regulation. this there will be an interview with the winning coach we'll break down the stats and facts afterwards as we look forward to the semifinal matchups which will take place tomorrow the defending champions holding their ground never trailing as they defeat CNSS 75 to 43 to advance to the semifinals an outstanding performance from Dolce Majaeja Started out eight for eight from field goal range. Ended up eight for 11 with a total of 21 points. Caitlin Jenkins with a double-double. 13 boards, 10 points. Leading scorer for seeing SS through the whole way. It's a tie between Deborah Meyimoma and Marlene Gobeleza with 10 points each. However, Meyimoma has the double-double also. Matching Caitlin Jenkins with 12 rebounds and 10 points. Actually, they just gave Caitlin Jenkins one more rebound, so that's 13 rebounds and 10 points for Caitlin Jenkins. 75 to 43 is the final score as Maputo defends their crown and they will advance to play against Costa do Sol in the semifinals. We have an interview ready, so let's send it back to them and I'll be back with the final look. finais da Taça dos Campeões de África em basquetebol sendo feminino. Uh, foi mais um jogo, uh, claramente índice e volumes completamente diferente de ambas as equipas, mas nós o que queríamos era uh, encarar esse jogo com uma responsabilidade e pensar a seguir nas meias finais. Uh, ganhamos, uh, a equipa esteve bem defensivamente, a nossa clara evidência ofensiva, desde a primeira parte até o terceiro período, esteve consistente. Agora é descansar, recuperar a equipa e, e pensar no jogo da manhã. Vai ser um encontro, mais um encontro com o Costa do Sol. Poderemos esperar algo de novo neste duelo com os Canarinhos? 
Cada jogo é um jogo, não há jogos iguais. Poderia ser um outro adversário amanhã, mas é o Corta de Sol e vamos encarar com o mesmo rigor. Vamos tentar dar o nosso máximo e pensar positivo em cada minuto que nós tivermos, cometermos menos erros e, e tentarmos criar uh, vantagens para que a gente consiga ter um bom resultado. Muito obrigado. Ficam as palavras de Nazir Salé, é o treinador do Ferroviário de Maputo, reagindo, portanto, à, à passagem para a fase seguinte desta formação. Vai defrontar amanhã nas meias finais de Costa do Sol. Conosco está Coco de treinador do CNSS do Congo. Salut, monsieur. Votre posição de 7 de julho. Voilà, mal entamé. Uh, um quart de final raté. Um quart de final raté. Donc, uh, um manque de determinação. Manque de concentration avec une grande équipe comme Ferroviaro. Lorsque vous le laissez partir, ils savent gérer le jeu, ils savent gérer le match et ça nous a compliqué. Voilà, donc faire déjà 17 pertes de ballon en première mi-temps, ça fait 34 points et ça prouve qu'il y avait un manque de concentration total. Donc c'est un quart de final raté, malheureusement. Merci. Ficam, portanto, as palavras de Coco Ade, o treinador do, portanto, do CNSS do Congo, reagindo a esta derrota. Acaba por falar que a sua equipa acabou por ser penalizada por alguma desconcentração bem aproveitada pela formação do Ferroviário de Maputo, que defronta amanhã a similar do Costa do Sol nas meias finais desta que é a mais importante competição de clubes de basquetebol sênior feminino no continente africano. All right, thank you, Coco Odd and Nazir Saleh well, with the post-game interviews. And it was all Ferroviario Maputo right from the start as they advanced to the semifinals to play against Costa de Sol after defeating CNSS 75-43. to We hope you enjoyed the coverage of the quarterfinal matchups today. Once again, the brackets look like this. Enter Club will play against Sporting for the semifinals. And now Costa de Sol will play against the defending champions, Ferroviario Maputo. Winners of those two games will play for the championship on Saturday. Quarterfinal matchups have concluded. Take a moment to thank the great crew who helped put these broadcasts together. This is my final broadcast here for the FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup. We'd like to thank, I'd like to thank you for the pleasure of your company and just tuning in to watch these ladies fight for the Champions Cup and hope you continue to enjoy it. So thank you to the other commentators throughout the tournament. James Pui, Sean Meadow, Anthony Sante, and Jacinta Govin. That will do it. Once again, semifinal action starts tomorrow. And now on behalf of everybody, hope you enjoy the rest of your day and be sure to tune in once again this is Aaron Sanders you've been watching the quarterfinal matchups of the 2022 FIBA Africa Women's Champions Cup thank you for being so kind and we'll talk again very soon till then so long for now